Missy Mermaid here. It's kind of late at night. I just wanted to make a quick video to educate you on something I learned tonight. I have been wearing, um, I've been wearing my Color Street, Color Street nail strips. Um, I can't remember what the name is of these. Very glittery, very beautiful. I got so many compliments. Let me just go, oh, it's time to play what's in the middle drawer. Okay, wait. oh, I love these. I, I buy stuff at TJ Maxx and then don't end up using it because it goes into a drawer. But these are so cute. They're little whatchamajiggers and it has, you know, Little labels on it like read me, file me. Yeah. They were only a dollar ninety nine. And they're very cute, which I will use someday. Um, but what I want to get is my little well, this one's kind of fresh, but it'll do one of my um Color Street catalogs. And let me find out the name. Broadway Glimmer. FMG 100. That is the name of the fingernail strip that I've been wearing. And like I said, I did get a lot of compliments. They totally lasted um, almost two weeks, but I my nail grew out a lot and I was getting um, prepared for Christmas. So I wanted to put some new ones on. And when I went to take off these nail strips, these uh, Broadway Glimmer, this is what happened. I mean, it was like a whole hour and I couldn't get them off. I was like slaving. I got it all over my finger. Look at this finger. I mean, come on. There's still fuzz on me from my from my um I mean I just I couldn't get the suckers off I'm still fuzz from the cotton ball so I was almost on the verge of tears and I was like I can't get this off and I was so frustrated because the first time I wore color street it came off so easily with um nail polish well I was using some nail polish and a mortal common a mortal common Mortal Common Cotton Ball. And apparently, um, it wasn't working. So, I remembered in my little um, case that I had -da, Color Street Nail Polish Remover Pads. Here's what they look like. I whipped one of these out. And I was able to get the nail polish off of this thumb, nothing on my finger, nothing on my nail, bada boom, bada bang, it came off like the split. It took about two seconds. <laughs> and I had been trying for an hour to get this off with a cotton ball and some cheap nail polish remover. So I wanted to give you a message of hope. I wanted to let you know that if you try to take off your color street and it's not working so good for you, maybe you should use the nail polish remover pads from Color Street. Um, these came in my kit. I'm not gonna try to use a mortal co cotton ball anymore ever again, no. Um, and I don't know if it's all nail polish or if it's just because I had this cheap crap from the cheap crap store. <laughs> but um, yeah, now I don't have to worry. Now I don't have to have you know, I was worried because I was thinking, how am I going to put my new nail strips on and how will I be ready for Christmas if I have black fingers and black cuticles and just, you know, yucky, ooey. I mean, gross. Okay. No. I just got up my nail, my um, Color Street Nail Polish Remover Pad. Let me do a close-up for you. I want you to see, I can't twist my thumb. Hold on, hold on. Okay, 
I just wanted to show you that the healthy pink part of my nail down by the cuticle that has been since the last couple weeks that I've had Color Street and the yellow discolored there's like a line from the pink part and boop to the yellow part and the yellow part of my nail is the part where I used to wear regular fingernail polish and I mean it was expensive it was a high quality top of the line nail polish it wasn't cheap but it discolored my fingers and down towards my cuticles is where now it's healthy and pink and not discolored because I've got my color street. Next, um, after I finish cleaning up all the rest of this goop with my color street nail polish remover pads, um, then I'm going to be using this next. And I think it's so pretty. I can't wait. I know I, sh I was thinking about doing Christmas, but, um, these are so pretty. I, I don't want to wait. I'm going to wear these for Christmas. Plus, my husband and I are going to San Antonio for, um, oh, some kind of orchestra. What's that called? The Trans-Siberian Orchestra. He's been wanting to go to that. So, to me, these, that right there, that right there, definitely that right there. That looks like the kind of fingernail you wear to go to the orchestra. Latte down. So, that's what I'm going to do.